I was a mid-career military physician when an opening occurred at the White House. My predecessor, Tom Corso, knew me, so he put my name on a list of candidates, and it was months later, but they called me and said, hey, you're still on the list of candidates, and we've narrowed the list down to six people that we're gonna interview. I was just honored that I was interviewed. <laughs> I didn't expect to be selected. And it was a surprise and a big adjustment for the family, but they ended up picking me. So that's how I ended up at the White House. I felt like it was a privilege to be there. So I was on Marine One and Air Force One. I went to 23 countries while serving at the White House. So I was able to go to Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, Germany, Russia, Poland, England, France, you name it. Bill Clinton. He would make you feel like you were the only person in the room. And he was very good with names. He could remember names, uh, he remembered faces, and very personable. When I was traveling with him, we actually had two senior Democrat leaders in California on the helicopter with us. And the president noticed that in my medical bag, I had a University of Kentucky baseball cap stuffed in the top of it. And he turned to me in the middle of a political conversation about an upcoming midterm election. And he said, yeah, UK, they could go all the way. And so I hesitated because I thought, well, he's in an important conversation. I should just keep my mouth shut. And I said, well, Arkansas might win it all. And then we proceeded to have about a 10 to 15 minute conversation about March Madness so when I took my family to the White House, he would shake hands with each member of the family and speak to them like he had nothing on his schedule for the day. My son uh, in our basement jumped off a toy castle we had and broke his arm. I told my wife, I said, well, I'll just take him down to the White House and have the president sign his cast. So we went down to the White House as a family and the president came out and signed his cast and they took a picture of the president signing the cast. And uh, he signed it in very big, bold letters. He would answer questions and ask them how they were doing and seemed to be genuinely interested in people. 